Hey everyone, here to talk about Google My Maps today with you. Today we're going to look at how do we activate layers and how do we add layers. Okay, so one of the cool things about Google My Maps is it gives us different lenses to look at a map or different filters, whatever you want to call it. So over here on the left, you're going to see my, the title of my map, so sixth grade social studies map. Um, and then you're going to see this little checkbox here that says My Life, Oceans, Continents, and Ancient Civilizations. So each one of these here is what's called a layer, okay? And right now you'll notice that none of them are activated, okay? So what would happen if I were to click on Ancient Civilizations? Well, let's find out. So if I click on Ancient Civilizations, boom, we see some stuff pop up here. So if I scroll on over here, I can zoom on in, and here I see there's some civilizations for me to look at. So here I can see where Mesopotamia was, you know, here is the Egyptians along the Nile. Over here is the Indus civilization. And then over here, I will find the uh, early Chinese civilizations, okay? Now, if I uncheck it, it goes away. So if I turn it back on, it appears. So the cool thing about Google My Maps is you can turn these layers on and you can turn them off. And it's kind of subtle. It can be a little confusing because you can have multiple layers on at the same time. Now, these other layers, I haven't really added anything to yet. Um, so it's a little confusing to, to, I guess you're not really getting the whole picture here. But when you have multiple layers activated, there's a very subtle little key that shows you which layer is kind of the active one. So if you were gonna add something to the map, that's where that would go. So do you see this little blue line right here? This shows me that my continents um, layer is the the most active one on here now if i were to uncheck it notice how it moves now it's down here so if i were to add a marker and we're going to go over this later if i were to add a marker notice where it goes it goes right over here okay but if i don't want it to go there and i want it to go somewhere else i can drag it which is kind of nice so here i can put it under oceans so now if i turn off ancient civilizations boom there's just this one here. If I turn oceans off, now it's gone. Turn ancient civilizations back on, there it is, okay? So it's a kind of a neat little feature that Google My Maps has. It gives uh, our maps a lot of depth, okay? And let's just do a lot more things with it, which is kind of neat. Now, the other thing that's really cool is that you can add layers to it. So if your teacher wants you to add a layer, so let's say that, for instance, there wasn't a My Life or Oceans or Continents one, you could go ahead and add that layer. So you can just press add layer. And then right here, it's created. And then you can put these three little dots right here and you could rename the layer. And there you go. All right, so that is how you uh, activate layers and that's how you create new layers. Thanks for watching guys.